Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Warship Gunner 2. Really enjoying getting back into this. Uh, I know you all don't get to see it quite the same as I, since I record these as basically backup for those times when I can't do my normal schedule, as I'm uh, away from home for an extended period, or on a business trip, or... You know, life happens and I just can't do a recording. So I'm I'm really enjoying doing this again. It's been a while since I've recorded some. But I believe we selected the 305mm Gatling gun battleship to clash with the enemy fleets up in the North Sea. <clears throat> the battle has already begun. The Nori fleet is virtually in pieces. Let's hit the enemy ca enemy's capital ships and take back the fight. Any battleships you find, take first priority. Take them down. Secondary objective added. All hands alert. Full speed ahead. Meow. There they be. the range on these Gatling guns. That's the only criticism I have. Yeah, I miss my long range guns. Much as I enjoy using the Gatling guns for ease of use, this range is just so atrocious. The last one was an American battle group, this one is a British battle group. Full 
This looks like another British one. Screening for a battleship group. First one we're encountering. Yep. More Kents. Bloop. Five cruisers sunk. Even the cruisers can be a sizable threat. Let's try to reduce their numbers as much as possible. And a British battleship group. Reinforcements from the northeast appears to be a task force with an aircraft carrier. Let's sink the aircraft carrier. Pretty weakened them, but still, I wasn't expecting Most each shell to do that much damage. Apparently, Nelson still have Patrolmer. If that's the case. Survivors, a little bit more money, some free repairs. Full speed ahead. Dodging shells with a battleship. Alright, can we hit a button? No, that's how big the battleships are on the radar. I think we've finished all the secondary objectives. Can't 
Missile engagement mode. Full speed ahead. Next target, which is another American cruiser force. Should I explain the missiles? It tickles. Their silhouette. Three Furious class carriers, if I'm not mistaken, and two Kents. Furious uh, carriers have a very distinctive superstructure. That complete. Now, let's complete. leave the area. Enemy ships had begun to withdraw. We claimed victory. To be honest, I didn't think we'd be able to go this far. With the amount of damage we gave the Empire this time, they'll be pretty limited in their ability to stage future operations. But we won't have to fight the battles like this for a while. We're glad to hear that. Thinks you uh, speak too soon. Seventy 
36 millimeter high velocity and 100 millimeter high velocity again. That would be useful. Yes, the claws of the Archaeopteryx. Captain, could I have a word with you? What is it, Doctor? I've received some information from the German Republic stating that large-scale shipments of materials have been taking place in the Wilhelmshaven region lately. Transport? According to the latest intelligence, a sizable quantity of ammunition is being gathered into a single place. But the enemy fleet should have suffered a great deal of damage at the North Sea battle earlier. It did. I don't think they can afford to do anything careless like that right now. Oh, they can. That may be true, but I don't see any harm in staying on the alert here. Hmm. Captain, incoming message from HQ. Giant aircraft discovered in the skies above the North Sea. Judging by the radar, it's believed to be a superweapon. Current orientation has it heading straight for London. Well, speak of the devil. I'm truly sorry. If only I could have gotten that information earlier. Not your fault, Doctor. While we're preparing to launch, let's take a close look at the situation. Lieutenant Nagi, have we identified the advancing enemy yet? According to reconnaissance analysis, the advancing airplane has been identified as the flying superweapon used in the Pacific Ocean battle, currently heading west for London. So it's the gigantic bomber. The superweapon is flying at low altitude over the North Sea. We only have a short time until it arrives at our final defense line. According to data from the Pacific battle, it's equipped with ship cannons and missiles in addition to regular bombs and other armaments. We've also lost contact with the squadron that was on a patrol mission in the sector. The super weapon is almost like a giant flying fortress. Does it have any weaknesses? It's carrying a great deal of weaponry, even if it is a super weapon, its maximum speed and altitude could be far lower than other aircraft. I think we could even handle it with leading fire from our ship's main guns. We were too surprised by the super weapon to deal with it calmly in the Pacific battle, but we might be able to get it this time. If we let this guy get away, London's going to be swallowed up by a sea of fire. We gotta do something to keep that from happening. We can't sacrifice the citizens of London. All hands condition red. Battle is imminent. Man your station. Don't let it get near London. Definitely not using the Gatling gun battleship this time. Hey, two more vessels. Higher caliber weaponry. Higher caliber weaponry. More barrels. Peewiz. Torpedoes. Mines. Destroyer hulls. Cruiser hulls. Cruiser bridges. I mean, we're getting the battleship ones too. 3D imaging radar. And some aircraft. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother looking. Uh, we're already working on the prototype. Machine gun wise. Can't tow the silver swan. Oops. Angle working on it. Ammunition working on it. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, even higher caliber weaponry. Care of main launchers, I'm gonna. Yeah. We'll take a look. I think we're researching everything though. Explosives. Missiles we're already working on. Did the flare rockets we can do. 
too terribly expensive. We need 39,000. Says engine. Boiler Alpha. And that takes care of everything we can research there. And leaves us with no money. Now, for a quick training. Which one was 280? Oh, sink the super weapon. Yeah, that'll, that'll take some doing. Secondary yes. objective added. All hands alert. Full speed ahead. All hands to sink the stations. What we need to do is sink eight battleships. We will definitely try to take out the missiles from those Atlantis. Pretty annoying. Now we can head for the battleships real quick. All hands to diving stations. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Incoming torpedo! Enemy battleship sunk! Enemy ship sunk! Want that Nelson? Incoming torpedo! Enemy battleship sunk! And some ammunition, please. Yet. All hands to 
Center somewhere. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Incoming torpedo. There it is. Incoming you guys are really being annoying. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Leave me alone down here. Incoming torpedo. Are 
they seriously destroy my torpedoes? Or no, it's too deep for them. Snag the treasure and we can retreat. Ta da! Mission complete. Now, let's leave the area. No B rank? That's terrible. Anti sub missile. Hmm. Yeah, that is nice. And then actually does some research for us. Russian fuse, a centimeter torpedo, more torpedoes, decoy launcher, rockets, cruiser hulls, our delaying system, and some aircraft. No, no, stop that. But with that, I am out of time for today. I thank you for joining me. Appreciate you staying to the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Take care.